Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're here to talk a bit more about the Honor Magic 6 Pro. No, not the hardware, which I have actually explained about three weeks ago in a separate video, but we're going to focus more on the software side of things in specific Magic OS 8.0. Now, like I said, the phone itself is not always about new hardware upgrades. This time around, Honor has actually thrown in a lot of cool stuff to Magic OS 8.0. And if I'm not mistaken, this device might be the only one right now to run on Magic OS 8.0. I still have my Magic V2 and that does not run the latest Magic OS yet. Anyways, let's head over to the desk behind where we can go up close and personal so I can share with you a couple of my favorite features with Magic OS 8.0. Let's go. All right guys, so now that we are at the desk, let's check out Magic OS 8 on the Magic 6 Pro. All right, let's start off first and foremost with the most important feature and that's actually called the Magic Portal. Now, how the Magic Portal works is basically you can drag and drop a couple of stuff to get more information. So let's start off with dragging pictures across. You can actually share it right away to any kind of application that you want on the right hand corner. Now, let me show you how I do it again. All you need to do is let's say just hold on a picture and you see this blue glow appear and right away, you can actually share it directly to your Instagram feed. You can share it to your chats. You can put it to your email. You can put it in notes, your Facebook, or whatever so that's cool now another thing that you can do with this is obviously you can also drag an image to search the item so say for example let's say i want to find out what car is this so i drag it again to the magic portal i scroll all the way down and right away notice that it starts scanning it and you can find the model of the car instantly it's that simple now there's also another cool trick and that's actually dragging address and actually putting it in your map so let's say i just long press on this again the phone detects that an address has been clicked on and then you can actually drop it into your maps and the navigation will show up right away to sum up what you can do with magic portal is you can drag addresses from your whatsapp to google maps start navigation right away you can also drag your photos to share and you can also drag those images to search on the internet very easily all right so the second feature that we have here is actually the magic capsule now this one might sound a bit familiar to you guys and basically it works like this say for example if i play a song notice that we do have a magic capsule at the top and you can actually tap it to see more information you have your music controls and all that so you can just pause that it works with your spotify it works with your youtube you know youtube music and all that so it's very very useful other than that you can also use it to start things like your timer we just go into a timer and you just start on a one minute timer and minimize it check that out you have live information in the magic capsule above again you can tap on it to reveal more information check that out your items are actually being stacked above and that's super cool and useful what else do we have here well we also have smart folders guys now you might notice that my home screen has a lot of stuff on it but actually it's all shortcuts so check this out this is my youtube shortcut check out i have the shorts on it i have the search on it so for my email i also have a couple of shortcuts right away so say for example if i go into my camera this is what i set here i have selfie mode so i just tap on that and instantly we are in our selfie mode again if i just go into a different app like instagram let's say i want to check out my notifications so i just press on that heart and right away you'll load up my notifications and you can see all the yada yada over there now it also works for telegram you can start a quick message right away let's say for your spotify you can put your favorite you know album over there as well and you know it just opens up a whole lot of possibilities as to how you can do things even quicker with your app so let me show you how it works so say for example a proper app let me just move it to the back so you can see how i set it up now if i actually long press on this app notice that i have a couple of you know like dots all around here and you can actually drag it so this is how a normal app will look like but if you just spread it apart this is where you get an additional shortcut so it works for a couple of apps for my maps it works telegram instagram you know all your favorite apps youtube gmail yada yada so it's all very very easy to use and again it just reduces the amount of you know things that you have to tap to go into a specific function especially for the apps nice so that's smart folder now let's move on to another cool feature which is actually in the lock screen itself now check that out now when i lock this phone itself the always on display is obviously still showing some information we have that but here's what's cool and let's just put that in and there you go we now have this lock screen on it with your clock now you might think this is familiar but doesn't matter as long as it's here on the brand new honor uh, magic os 8 but what i think is really nice is the fact that you can now customize your lock screen let me just show it to you real quick if i just do that click into my wallpapers check out my lock screen tap it right here oh there you go and you can actually change the lock screen style by you know going over a couple of different options let me just zoom it in you can go with all these different kind of magazine designs you can go with your basic stuff so yeah quite a fair bit of updates to the locks screen 
Now, a couple more other things that you need to know about the phone itself before we go. Uh, number one is obviously the Magic Camera. So the Falcon Camera, which is the AI that they use to shoot moving objects, now also works with the telephoto lens, the 2.5 as well as the 5x zoom. You can use that for your Falcon Camera, the auto capture. Other than that, we also have this super strong display at the front. I think I already did a drop test, you know. It kind of dented my phone, but I'm not going to do another drop test now. Essentially, it's a very, very strong nano crystal shield. So you can do stuff like that and don't really have to worry. I think you can knock it on the table. Yeah, I'm not going to drop it. Okay, maybe I'll just drop it since we are already here. All right, time for a quick drop test. So, okay, please don't crack. This is SGS Glass Drop Resistance 5 stars, by the way. Let's see if that means anything. So not very high, but this is tiles down below. Let's go. Okay, that sounds painful. Yeah, obviously it's fine. So, ah, since we are having fun, one more. Guys, by the way, you must understand that we are throwing a flagship phone on the ground and it's hard surface and it's still not cracking up. So let's do one more. Wow, that sounds painful. Oh. Yeah, check that out, nice. So that's your magic display and Hang on, let me just adjust that. Last but not least, we also have the Magic Battery in here, which is the 5600 mAh battery. Super huge, but it's still quite slim, fairly slim for the size because it's using the EV industry silicon-based batteries. Yep, you have that in here. Very nice flagship, guys. By the way, if you do choose a color, I really strongly recommend you go with the black. The black looks so nice. The matte is nice. Alright guys, so that pretty much wraps up our quick look at the Honor Magic 6 Pro and the new features that you can expect from Magic OS 8.0. Again, I think this has completely changed the user experience of the phone itself. It's good to see that Honor finally actually put in more initiative into making their UI look a bit better and also with those new features. Like I said, Magic OS has been a long time due to get this kind of update. But here in Malaysia, this phone is launching very soon on the March 20th. Yep, I actually got a couple of uh, key points for you to know in case you plan on uh, placing your orders. If you put a deposit of 66 ringgit now till the date of the launch, March 20th, you actually stand a chance to get freebies. No, you actually will get freebies of up to 2,259 ringgit. Anyways, uh, more info will be down in the link below. If you want to check that out, uh, feel free to check that out. Thank you for watching today's video all the way to the end. Hopefully, the video helped you out in understanding a bit more on what's new with the software. It's not always the hardware. The software also plays a very important role. With that said, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next one. Do take care and stay safe. Bye-bye.